The posture of macronarians is characterized by a novel, wide-gauged locomotor style, particularly in titanosaurs. While sauropods are known to be the giants of the dinosaurs, macronarians were not exclusively large-bodied. Macronarians show divergence in the evolution of body size with some members both increasing and decreasing in size from the primitive condition. Camarasaurus presented a distinctive cranial profile of a blunt snout and an arched skull that was remarkably square. It likely traveled in herds, or at least in family groups. It probably ate stones to aid in digesting plant material. These gastrolids would have helped this dinosaur grind plant material down in its stomach. It would keep these stones in its stomach until they became too smooth to be of use, and then the dinosaur would either poop them out or regurgitate them. Fossil camarasaur eggs have been found in lines, rather than in neatly arranged nests as with some other dinosaurs, which suggests that, like most sauropods, Camarasaurus did not tend its young. Augustinia was well known for its distinctive supposed armor plates, initially interpreted as a series of wide, vertical spikes and plates down the center of its back, somewhat like the unrelated Stegosaurus. Further study of the poorly preserved fossil material showed that these plates were in fact more likely to be fragments of ribs and hip bones. Comparing Ruyangosaurus bones to the more complete remains of other genera has resulted in very rough estimates of around 30 meters long, raising the probability that it was one of the largest animals to ever walk the earth. Wintonotitan is identified as a basal titanosaur. It was lightly billed, but many parts of the skeleton are still missing. Unlike most other sauropods, Euhelopus had longer forelegs than hind legs. This discovery was paleontologically significant because it represented the first dinosaur scientifically investigated from China and has a relatively complete skull for a sauropod. Urketu was a sauropod with the longest neck relative to its body size. It's as the result of the individual vertebrae being greatly elongated, it is unknown if the number of cervical vertebrae was increased. It is also diagnosed by bifurcate anterior cervical neural spines, another unusual trait for a titanosauriform. The tail vertebrae of Tambotitanus have already caused a stir amongst paleontologists because the neural spines of the vertebrae curve around to face forwards. Why the neural spines should do this is not yet fully known, but the unusual shape of the vertebrae may have allowed for an altered musculature that enabled Tambotitanus to move their tails around in a different manner. This in turn might mean a lifestyle where the tail was used more, perhaps to signal other members of the same species. Brachiosaurus was unsuited for rearing on its hind limbs. It has been used as an example of a dinosaur that was most likely ectothermic because of its large size and the corresponding need for sufficient forage, but more recent research suggests it was warm-blooded. It is among the most iconic dinosaur, with their heads held high above the heart, brachiosaurids would have had stressed cardiovascular systems. It is estimated that the heart of Brachiosaurus would have to pump double the blood pressure of a giraffe to reach the brain. The exact position of their nasal holes are not known for certain because there are no dedicated holes in the skull that would reveal the rough size like in other animals. Giraffatitan is an African relative, although it is phylogenetically different from Brachiosaurus, it probably did have a very similar lifestyle as a high browser. Once Sauroposidon reached maturity, then they would have been virtually safe from all attacks from carnivores. It was an unexpected discovery, because it was a huge, gas-guzzling barge of an animal in an age of subcompact sauropods. Some scientists think it is more closely related to the titanosaurs than brachiosaurids. It has a grassal neck compared to giraffatitan. If the rest of the body turns out to be similarly slender, the mass estimate may be too high.
The small size of Europasaurus has been interpreted as a case of insular dwarfism, an occurrence where animals grow smaller as to not exhaust the reduced amounts of food present upon isolated island ecosystems. It has been suggested that its ancestor would have quickly decreased in body size after emigrating to an island that existed at the time, as the largest of the islands in the region around northern Germany was smaller than 200,000 km squared. Bruchethkaeosaurus fossils are very friable due to the monsoon season combined with the sands and clays of the Kalamedu formation which they are found. In 2017 it was reported that the original fossils had disintegrated and no longer exist. But if its size estimates are accurate it would be similar in size to the blue whale. It is estimated that the typical dinosaur egg of the Argentinosaurus was about the size of a beach ball. That means that the chicks from these dinosaurs had to grow 25,000 times their original size before they reached adulthood. It is estimated that it would take about 15 years for them to reach this size. Although this dinosaur is currently listed as one of the largest herbivores to ever walk the planet, that title is in constant danger of being overturned. That's because larger and large dinosaurs are constantly being discovered. Malawisaurus itself stands out from other known titanosaurs because it is one of the few that has skull material attributed to the genus. This helps to piece together a larger picture of titanosaurid skull forms, particularly in genera which are lacing in skull material. During late Cretaceous, Madagascar was already an island, its climate was semi-arid, with pronounced seasonality in temperature and rainfall. Many prehistoric animals inhabited a coastal flood plain cut by many sandy river channels. Raptosaurus may have roamed coastal environments like tidal flats as well. The juvenile sauropod was believed to have been capable of surviving with little to no parental care. Like all sauropods, Saltosaurus was herbivorous. Because of its barrel like rump, shaped like a hippopotamus, scientists suggested that it was amphibian. Despite its small stature, it was still graviportal like other sauropods, meaning it could not run because its hind limbs had to be held straight at the load-bearing phase of their walking cycle. Powell assumed adult individuals were protected against predators by their body armor, while juveniles were protected by the herd as a whole. Magyarosaurus is considered the smallest titanosaur, and is regarded as another example of insular dwarfism, although some have made the suggestion that Magyarosaurus specimens are merely juveniles of larger species, subsequent studies have proven that they are indeed adults and at the upper limit of their maximum potential size. There is little doubt that Paralititan sits comfortably amongst some of the biggest sauropod dinosaurs that are known to us, though its skeleton is largely incomplete. It is the first dinosaur demonstrated to have inhabited a mangrove habitat. The autochthonous, scavenged skeleton was preserved in tidal flat deposits containing in the form of fossil leaves and root systems. The mangrove ecosystem it inhabited was situated along the southern shore of the Tethy Sea. Diamantinosaurus was relatively small for a titanosaurian, some of its relatives are known possessed armor osteoderms although is it unknown whether Diamantinosaurus had these. It was found in a clay layer between sandstone layers, interpreted as an oxbow lake deposit. It lived alongside a diverse vertebrate fauna in the upper Winton formation, that included its close relative Savannosaurus. The sacrum and the fused ischium pubis complex of this last dinosaurs are both over one meter in width at their narrowest points, making Savannosaurus an unusually wide-bodied titanosaur. Maxicalosaurus is one of the largest dinosaurs known to have lived in Brazil, it is known to have had bony plates called osteoderms in the skin for additional protection from harm.
Paleontologists have made significant process identifying the exact place of Futalonchosaurus on the Titanosaur family tree. In 2008, researchers from South America proposed a new clade called Lonchosauria, which includes both Futalonchosaurus and the closely related the even more gigantic Dreadnoughtus. This last dinosaur could be the second biggest dinosaur behind Argentinosaurus. When scientists discovered the first specimen they found that it had over 70% of its bones preserved. It is believed that this dinosaur was so well preserved because of the way it died. It appears to have died suddenly during a flood and the quickly rising sediment helped preserve it. Fukutitan seems to have been fairly small in terms of overall sauropod sizes, and may be a reflection of living upon a smaller land mass. Puertosaurus was alive, the Cerro Fortaleza formation would have been a humid, forested landscape, it was a very large animal. Its size is difficult to estimate due of the scarcity of its remains, but current estimates place it around 30 meters long. Alamosaurus have been recovered from only a few meters below the Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary in Texas, making it among the last surviving non-avian dinosaur species. Its appearance may have represented an immigration event from South America. It appears and achieves dominance in its environment very abruptly, which might support the idea that it originated following an immigration event. Ampelosaurus seems to have grown in a way similar to more basal sauropods. After a certain point in its development, the microscopic material of the bone became very different from more basal sauropoda. It grew more slowly once the bone microstructure became unique among sauropods. Comparisons between the scleral rings of Nemectosaurus and modern birds and reptiles suggest that it may have been cathemeral, active throughout the day at short intervals. Eggs attributed to Hypsilosaurus have been found in France since 1846, and were the earliest dinosaur eggs actually discovered, although they were not recognized as being dinosaurian for several decades. The eggs are unusually large, measuring at around 30 cm in length. Eutychosaurus was probably similar to Titanosaurus, but most researchers have concluded that it cannot be distinguished from other titanosaurs and is therefore a nomen dubium also. Fossils of Titanosaurus are not actually distinct enough to confidently attribute further remains to, which is why even though it was used to create the Titanosauria, it is also regarded as another nomen dubium by modern paleontologists. <laughs>